Hello and welcome back for another Fast Fridays. This is airing when I suspect it should air. It's been about a month, four weeks, since the last episode of this. So that's cool. Uh, as you may or may not be able to see, we are on the Japanese version now. You'll see in a second when I press A, or when it loads the screen, right there. Um... <laughs> Which will go faster. This is my second attempt at recording this. The first one took about two hours to not beat the final boss. RNG is rough sometimes. So, we'll see. The goal... The goal is going to be sub 5.30. If we can get under 5 minutes and 30 seconds, I will be happy. If we just beat it, I'll be happy. So, we'll see. Uh, last time, we got a little under 6.08. I took a little time to... To hit the button so like if i were to retime it it's probably 606 is my guess because i wasn't i wasn't prepared i need both hands on the controller when i'm putting the code in so i can't quite get there immediately it's gonna need retime too, but that's fine we'll get a rough idea so if let us begin so if you weren't here last time i'll explain what's gonna happen so first we have this text. It's going significantly faster than the American version. Um, that's why we're on this version. So first up, we're going to move Abel over here because he's got to attack for us turn two. And that's kind of all he does. We move his buddy Kane to protect this village from the thief down in that corner. We move Sheeta over here to help make a barricade. Marth has to capture the castle at the end of the stage. We have to go into the options and turn off battle animations. Gordon is going to complete this barricade so that Thief is never going to move. And then we move Jagan. Sometimes he'll walk through that forest. It's rare, but he will. We equip our Silver Lance and we hold out the turn. And then we see what happens. Uh, because I explained it, it took a little longer. Uh, a goodish time for me is like 52 seconds to get through that first part. Uh, I think we were like 58 seconds, so we're a little behind, but that happens. We would prefer that guy to die, uh, because he creates more RNG for us. We'd prefer both of these guys to die. That doesn't always happen, but our time is not good enough for us to care that much. Um, we're not going for world record or anything. Uh, we're, we're just going for a better time. In an ideal world, we kill both of those. Um, but we're not at the point where we need to reset over it. So first up, we're going to use Abel. And he's going to chuck javelins at this guy. And ideally, he kills him. If not, we reset. Hey, he killed him, so we get to continue our explanation of what we're doing. Alright. So because this guy didn't die, we send Marth in. We're going to need more RNG this time, but uh, whatever, it's fine. We have a chance. It's not high, but we have a chance. So Marth needs to avoid one attack this entire time. Jagan also needs to avoid one attack. Um, to kill this archer, we have to switch to our sword because our silver lance is too heavy and we don't double him. Jagan needs to dodge one hit this entire run. Um, if Jagan doesn't kill that top guy... Marth has to dodge one hit. Uh, we, But like I said, we have two extra battles that we should not have. Uh, Jagan has not dodged, which is bad. He has two more chances, and he also has to hit his next attack. Marth also didn't dodge, so he's probably going to die. Alright... Those three pirates are the only ones that move each turn now. Unless Jagan's in their way. So we're going to move him down so he's not bothered by the pirates. Oop, we moved too far. Jagan's going to come down here. Switch back to his Silver Lance. Ideally hit. Alright, good. Good. Nice and easy. And then Marth is going to take where Jagan was standing and throw away his sword. No more fighting for Marth. We don't want him to crit the guys and have to take an extra hit. 
Like, that, that would be bad. Also, attacking just takes longer, so... Alright. So, Martha's gonna move here. Uh, a little different from a month ago. Jagan's gonna move next to him instead of above him. Uh, it doesn't really change anything. They still get attacked by the same number of guys, I just have to move the cursor less. So, Mark needs to dodge a hit. He has three attacks coming at him. Jagan also needs to dodge an attack. He has two hits coming at him. He also needed to kill him, but whatever. Uh, or else we're going to restart. Looks like we're going to restart. Well, we definitely need to restart. There's a small chance I think Jagan can crit the boss, so we're not completely out of luck yet. But Martha's going to get hit here, so it doesn't matter. Yup. Like that. Alright. And then we just keep doing that. It's a good time. Fun RNG. Usually the bottleneck is able hitting his javelin throws. Like that's the big thing that stops us from continuing on. I don't know why we're moving Gordon so early. I really shouldn't know, but it's not a huge deal. It's just, I think, slightly inoptimal. But whatever, it's fine. We're going to turn off animations before we forget. We'll see if Jagan moves through the forest. Nope. Every now and then he'll move through the forest, which saves us two tile movements. It's pretty good. Alright, that one was like 54. I don't know if I hit the button later than usual, earlier than usual, though. I didn't hit it at the same time I usually would. We did not kill that guy, unfortunate. That means the Marth RNG remains. He needs to make a dodge. You can see the hit percentages down at the bottom, by the way. It's not giving you numbers, though, so you just kind of have to estimate. I'm sure the numbers are out there, I just don't know them. Like, when Kane's gonna chuck his javelins here, it looks like his chances of hitting are like 70 each, so I don't think it's super in our favor. Yeah, like there, we missed one, so we have to reset. And that happens a lot. That's just the nature of this run. Like, if you were going for a better score than I am, I imagine you would have to probably reset every time Jagan didn't kill one of the guys. Like, you want Jagan to kill the guys the first turn. But we're just going for an okay time, so M mainly a better time than what we have. But as I said, I, I attempted this already. It was about two hours of attempts that didn't get anywhere, so... I think I fought the boss, like, a couple times. Getting to the boss is hard, and even then... Uh, hitting him is... not... super in your favor. Because you gotta hit him twice. So... You have to hit, like, double 70, double 65, something like that. In a a row, so it's not super in our favor, even if we make it to the boss. Yeah, at least we hit him once. If we miss him twice, I'll reset. Alright, Jagan got his dodge, that's good. He just needs one dodge of the, like, six combats he goes into. He got there, but as always, 
Abel is our... All right, he let us through. Cool. All right, Marth will kill the guy. It's fine. I mean, technically we could go down and let Abel fight, right? I don't know what happens in that situation. Marth should still be able to make it over to where he needs to be. I guess the issue is Abel probably isn't like super high to hit him with the javelin. I don't know. I've seen Jagan crit that guy once. It would save time, but it is so unlikely that it doesn't matter. You know, next time we might move Marth down instead of to the left. We'll see. You might be able to walk through the forest and still hit Marth though, so it doesn't really matter. Alright, put Abel in the woods, move Jagan, get his good weapon back. Yeah, we just need Mark to dodge one of these, like, 70% hits. And we'll have a chance at the boss, ideally. This turn is nice, there's no combat. <laughs> there's one attack from Jagan. Uh... Alright, chill right there. Hang out next to him. Alright, Marth, you have to dodge one of these. Yay, we dodged it! Alright. So you're saying there's a chance we get a boss fight. Let's go. Alright, we need to kill the other one with Jagan, or there's no boss fight allowed. He he essentially needs to hit like 285 or 90s. I don't know. It looks like it's a 90 or 85. Alright, he hit it. It's not the fastest route to the boss, but we can get there. Mark will survive. Alright, we got a shot. Alright. We missed twice. You love to see it. We had the opportunity of greatness and we failed. Uh, we failed miraculously. I think I've seen Jagan miss twice more than I've seen him hit twice. Which should not be the case, but it's just how it is. What am I doing? That was, uh... It felt like I was going for Marth for some reason, and I don't know why. I do hope we see the fabled, uh... Jagan walking through the woods. It happens, I swear. Not this time, though. I remember the animations. Perfect start. Means Abel's probably gonna miss. It's just how it goes. I do not trust Abel. At all. Especially when we get a good start. He, that's when he always flounders on us. Jagan eats up all the good RNG. Like, personally, right now, I would rather, uh... Miss killing the second pirate with Jagan, then missing this right here. Like, I. Nice double miss. See? 
all the good RN used up on Jagan. That's not how it works, by the way. At least I hope it's not how it works. They should be independent events. Judging by how the leaderboard works, I I imagine there is not manipulation in this game for AI. Uh, or it, may, not so much AI, but for uh, like crits and hits and all that stuff. I think the board would be more competitive if it were that case. Probably. That's my guess. Like, I know the GBA games are like that, where it's everything... No! Well, I may have thrown out our Silver Lance instead of switched to it. That's fine. I've done that once before. Resets are quick, it's fine. Yeah, I... Cool for people who enjoy that, it's not my thing. I don't find it fun. Especially with how long the games are. It's like... Uh, I would be interested in Three Houses at some point, though. Three Houses sounds fun for a speedrun. My understanding is... It's essentially a Byleth solo in the first half, and then a Lord solo in the second half? Which is fine. I want to say you train up a warp user sometimes, too. So. I don't know what blue lions do, but... Ooh, no woods. I imagine you have Linhart or Lysithia warping you around. I imagine you need it by chapter seven, maybe six. It's been a while since I played Three Houses. I don't remember the chapters by heart anymore. Like I did when it first came out. I think six is the one with plane. All right, we got our dodge. Unfortunately, Marth needs a dodge, but we should be okay. Comes down to Abel. Engage could be fun, too. I don't know what the Engage speedrun's like, but I I enjoyed Engage. Uh, the story, slightly less so, but, you know. Alright, well, I guess we get to play the game. Oh yeah, I said I was... We're gonna take a time loss here, but... Oh god. We'll see what happens if we go down here. I assume the pirate can still hit us, but... That was far slower than it needed to be. I did say I wanted to try this. I think the pirate can walk through the woods and still fight us. So it doesn't matter. Yeah. I wouldn't have been against it if he were to attack Abel instead there, but... I don't think it matters which spot we go to. I think the left is just generally going to be better. Alright, don't miss Jagan. You hate to see it. Alright, more RNG into the run. Just what we wanted. Now Jagan needs to dodge another hit. Like, we, we are not favored at all here. What is happening? Oh! Oh, we messed up the RNG- oh no. 
Alright, so... I think we have to reset. I think we just figured out why we could not... Yeah, we need to reset. That pirate's not supposed to be there. Oh. We... We answered our own question. Why don't we go down? Oh, that's why we don't go down. The pirate the pirate tries to chase us on land, and then we have an extra enemy to dodge. Nope. Can't do that. I mean, I guess we could have tried for a crit, but eh. Alright. Lesson learned. Lesson learned. today. Alright, we just let them move. Alright, do we get the kill? We got the dodge, let's go! And we got the kill, alright. Blessed run, let's go. We already got a dodge, I don't care. We got both dodges, like... Killing that pirate is essentially a dodge for Marth for us. Essentially. We just have to beat this guy. Alright, Abel. Do we get to continue this good run? Abel said no! Downside of the faster text is we don't get this song nearly long enough. Uh, excuse me? Down input went where? walk through this time. Oop, sorry about that. I hit my mic. Alright. Do we kill him, Jagan? We got a hit. So we continue the run. Could you at least dodge if you're not going to kill that guy? Cool. One less dodge we have to run it, worry about in the run. Let's go. Does Abel allow this to continue? He does! Let's go! Uh, now it gets to go to Marth. Will Marth let this run be a run? No throwing away our sword today. comes down to Marth getting a dodge and then Jagan getting the kill but uh, one step at a time do 
didn't get an early dot. What? Actually, what? Um, Mart's hit rate was supposed to be a hundred. I don't know how he dodged. Whatever. I thought Mart's hit rate was a hundred. Must be like ninety nine. Like, his hip bar is filled. Uh, we forgot to s destroy the sword. We can do it this turn, so it's not like a big deal, but... Uh, usually we do this before, but... I think we need to go at least here. Get rid of the sword. I can't believe he missed. I didn't know that was possible. Alright. Either it's a 99% hit, or it could be something like Pokemon where it's like a 1 in... what? 256 shot. Not the right person to dodge. All right. Martha has two shots to dodge. One shot to dodge. Jagan's killing everyone over there, but doesn't matter. Martha may not live. Nope. It's just what happens when you let the top guy live. Marth might not get his dodge and then you're dead. The chances of Mark dodging should be in our favor. Like, not highly in our favor, but in our favor enough. We... Get those animations off. Alright, good enough, good enough. 53 solid. Come on, get the kill, get the kill! Nice. He did it. And he got his dodge, too. Like... That's fine. Leave him alive. If Abel hits, we're very happy. We are quite content with this outcome, as long as Abel gets his hits. Perfectly fine. We got Martha in there. See, look, it's, it's a full bar. Shouldn't be a miss. Miss should not be a thing that is possible, but... Here we are. We missed last time, somehow. But anyway, we should be poised to fight a boss this time, so that's cool. One day we'll get a crit again against him.
one day. No, I pressed it too early. Do not miss, Jacken. Thank you. Yo, we got a point of something. I have no clue what we leveled up, but we got a point in something. I didn't throw away my sword. That's fine. We can do it this turn. No harm, no foul. No sword required. Not bad, not bad. Martha's gonna get beat up here, but that's okay. Alright, Jack, and this is the one we want you to kill. Nicely done, buddy. Alright, Martha fight doesn't matter. That miss doesn't matter. We killed the other one. Don't care. I will say that those two are rolls relatively well in our favor. And yet somehow we have... Uh, I have seen many times where those two are the ones that like get, keep getting to battle the boss. Alright. Come on, Jagan. Nice miss, buddy. Alright, well... Unfortunate. Unfortunate. I mean, at least we're getting to face the boss. That's good. That was good cursor movement right there. Big fan of that cursor movement. A little sloppy, but... We Stopped a little early for that one, but it's fine. Sometimes it eats the A input, and I don't know why. I assume it has something to do with the scrolling of the screen, but... Eh. Nice dodge! See, that's what we want to see. Like, this guy's whatever. Yeah. As long as we hit him once, we're happy. I actually don't know what happens if we miss him twice. But missing him twice would be so rare that I don't think it's something that we have to fathom. Because I want to say Jagan's like 90% to hit that guy, so... 85 maybe. Why, Abel? This was a good run. This was a good run. You threw it all away, bud. This game loads so snappily, though. Cool. Very nice. Oh, that was... That felt good. Mm. Gordon, every time, buddy. Every time. Jagan, not even gonna tease us with walking through the woods.
Not even gonna tease us with the woods block. Alright. I mean, we still need to dodge, but we killed the guy, so we'll take it. There's our dodge. Alright, we can throw away our sword next turn if I remember. Assuming able hits. The answer is no, he does not hit. We don't ask much of Abel, but he doesn't he doesn't live up to the hype. Come on. Sometimes your down inputs are eaten. Okay, okay. Jagan is, uh, Jagan's doing good. He did what he needed to do. It was a very weird start order for me, but I swear if this run gets there, I'm gonna be so sad. That was such a messy beginning. Of course he... Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is what we call punishment. So what's nice about this movement is you can just go down as far as you can and you get there. Because you can't go through the second forest, so it just hard stops you from moving down any further than you need to. It's actually very convenient. Sad thing is, we're actually not doing bad on time because Jagan killed the first two guys. And he got a dodge, a second dodge, which is even better. Alright, so we're probably getting a vice at the boss. Uh, we were supposed to move Abel first, but whatever. Even a miss there wasn't like the end of the world. Let's go, level up. We got a stat. But we can move like that. No. I double tapped A too quickly. goes as far left as he can, and Jagan covers him. Alright, can we kill this guy? That would be ideal. Thank you. 
Less cursor movement. We take it. Oh, of course Marth's dodging over there too. Oh, Jenkins is gonna kill both of them. Good for him. Good for him. Those guys don't matter because there isn't another turn after this one. Let's go? Alright, cool. Marth takes the castle. Thankfully it didn't crit. Jeez. Alright. I don't know how this was the one. Yes, save. No. Up, down, left, right, A, select, up, oh. up, down, left, right, up, A, select. Alright, well, that was like 518, I think. I'll probably have to retime it, but we did it! I was ready to cut that run out because there was sound in the background, and now it's stuck in there. I might lower the sound that was in the background, but hey, you know what? I'm happy. Definitely needs retimed because one, we we would have gotten we probably could have gotten 515 with that one, right? Like that one was very fortunate. Um, but also I don't know why this is in English. <laughs> That's so weird, but I forgot the second up, so I had to put the code in again. So that was an extra five seconds, maybe. It was like an extra three or four seconds. I had to figure out what I did wrong. I might continue to do this. Uh, but I, I got what I wanted to for this video. So, uh, yeah. Coming up next is going to be Scarlet and Violet. The Titan Path? Or whatever that path is called. Path of Legends? Is that the one? I think it might be the one. I don't remember what the titan path is called but that's fine it's been a little while like i know starfall street and uh i i don't even remember what the gym leader one is called it's like victory road or something i don't know but yeah the first game i ever speed ran was pokemon sword so i kind of have a soft spot for it and the different paths you get to get the starter beforehand, so you get to reset. So you don't... It's not as reset heavy as Sword and Shield was. So I kind of love that. Like, you're not manipulating RNG, but you can reset for your starter. And I like that a lot. That goes a long way. Gato, let's go. Minerva. Oh, you love to see it. I don't even know who Shane is. Oh, oh, that's Shane. X-A-N-E. Okay, okay. So yeah, that's what's going to happen next month. So yeah, that should be fun. So yeah, thanks for watching. And until next time, see ya.